Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, T Square here with T Square Talk. So it is Wednesday, hump day, uh, and just a couple days before the GDP numbers come out. I'm super excited. I'm hoping we're going to see a little bit more of a drop again. However, I think we're fluttering real close to the bottom on the price, and we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. We're going to talk a little bit about the negativity that's in the air, a lot of people being negative on silver, and the last time we seen this was when um, everybody was saying that silver was going to plunge down to 20 18, 15, and I did uh, videos probably for a whole week on why I didn't think that was going to happen and ended up getting lucky and picked a bunch up when spot was $21. But what a lot of people weren't talking about or noticing is that the lows seem like they're getting to be higher lows. And I'm expecting that could be the case here again. So we're going to talk a little bit about that um, and then go from there. If you guys enjoyed this video, please help me out. Hit that thumbs up button. I'm trying to grow the channel. So if you're new to the channel and you want to help me out by hitting that subscribe button, it costs you nothing to do. Um, and it really helps me out just by having you subscribe and thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about silver, even if you're against it, even if you think uh, it's going to go lower. I would love to hear your comment on, do you think the price is going to go a lot lower? What do you think the low is? Don't be afraid to put a guess in. I mean, it's just for fun. Um, but it does help me actually see a true idea of what, um, how low the price can go essentially in terms of what you guys are thinking. Because if everybody's thinking the price is going to go lower, then essentially it could. But I personally don't think it will. We've we've seen that sentiment before and we're going to see how stuff plays out. So uh, help me out, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment. Okay, so jumping right in, um, this this video came up because I was watching a couple of other YouTube channels and I was talking to some people today about silver and they told me I'm not buying right now. And I said, well, what's up? And they said, you know, I'm holding out because I think the prices are going to go a whole lot lower. And I said, really? Um, based on what? And I got told based on a couple YouTubers that I watch, um, even though I made a joke and I was like, I'm not the only one you watch, really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I did make that joke. Um, but then, you know, I, I listened to what he said and then I went and checked out then videos that he cited to me, and I said, I I can't see it. I mean, what I'm seeing uh, from looking at the charts is that look at look at what the lows were. The lows about a year ago were right around what twenty. The lows six months ago were right around uh, high twenty one uh, high twenty ones. Um, and here we are right now at, you know, inching in that area. We're not quite at the low. I know I put in an order the other night when we saw what 22, I think it went down to 22. Let me look here. Yeah, just under 22. I had to look real quick. Uh, it came down to 21 high 21 21 90 something um and and then it came right back up and here it, is, it was back up to 2250 uh do i think we're going to see that again i think we could see that again but i really think the low 22s are about where the bottom is going to be so as for me first of all i can tell you that i'm picking up and you're going to see you haven't seen a whole lot of package openings lately i've been doing a whole lot more videos and some people have asked what happened did you quit buying um, no, I didn't, I mean, I slowed down on buying because of what's going on and, you know, I wanted to kind of feel out the numbers and see how the numbers were going to come in. And I think that we're going to continue to see a little bit of a drop, but not by much. I mean, I would love to see $20 silver again. What I really feel bad about is the people out there that are listening to this and saying they're basing their... Their whole, they're not doing, I mean, here's, here's why I started doing this. You know, I started doing this because I got tired of these financial managers managing your portfolio, making a commission every time you buy, making a commission every time you sell, and ultimately they're the ones making out and they don't really care if you lose or you win. I mean, they, they'd like to see you win. Um, but at the end of the day, they're getting a commission anyway. 
So the same thing would go for anybody that's watching this video. I mean, don't base all your decisions on something you hear from my channel or any channel. You know, look at the numbers, look at the patterns that we're seeing. Now know that you can have one-offs. I mean, you could have a huge spike or a huge plunge, but generally, how long can the price stay down for? Because let's just be honest, if the price goes under 20, what are you going to be doing? You're probably going to go out there and start buying. A lot of you will. A lot of you watching this are like, I know I would. I could get more from my money. I want to buy. I've talked to a lot of you guys in the comments. I really try to make it a point to keep up with the comments and actually conversate with you guys. And I'm hearing a lot of people say, I hope it don't go crazy until I have time to get more because I'm fairly new to the stacker. And the truth of the matter is, every time you see a big jump on silver, every time silver makes the news, every time something bad happens in the world, a few more people out there will look at silver and they start realizing that, you know what? This ain't right. Why? What happened? Why is the dollar losing value so fast? And I know some people call that dooming and glooming that we're, we're even talking about this. But the truth of the matter is we've talked about, I've been doing a lot of uh, videos lately too, where I talk about, you know, something like this, that, you know, you got a silver half dollar. Darn, that's sharp looking. Oh, I think it's been cleaned. Um, that's just a pretty one. I think I got that from New Marshall, actually. Um, but needless to say, uh, you know, this, this was 50 cents at one time. If, if this really didn't have any value, why do you think the government would, or the treasury would have stopped making them out of silver? Why would they have basically pulled them all and started making them out of clad? Why would they have gotten rid of the silver dollars? Why would they have gotten rid of silver quarters, silver dimes? Because they realize the metal is worth more than what's written on it. Why do you think we don't even make an honest penny anymore? Because the copper is worth more than the penny. So now we make them out of zinc. It's pretty soon we're going to make the nickel out of something else. They've already approved it. They just haven't um, started acting on it yet. I think they're going to wait and sweep them all up. Uh, you know, but on silver, silver has value. It is the money. And and a lot of people don't realize that because they see the manipulation. And maybe they don't really fully believe that it could be manipulated to the extent that it is. But here's, a, here's another thing just to think about. This ounce of gold comes out of the ground. This ounce of silver comes out of the ground. This comes out of the ground at a ratio of depending what, I'll say what website or what set of information you want to use, anywhere from eight to one, eight silver ounces of silver for every one ounce of gold, to 15 ounces of silver to one ounce of gold. But we could just say 20 just to be safe. So we, we could just say it's a 20 to one ratio just to blow every set of data out of the water and say, we'll go with 20 to one. Right now, we're talking almost 90 to one. That means if I own this, I could trade this in for essentially 90 ounces of silver. Now, it won't be these ounces because these are American Silver Eagles. They have a little more of a premium. But if I was willing to take, I don't know, Christmas rounds or some other silver round that, you know, some people will say, oh, that has no value. That's a Christmas. I mean, Christmas is over. I mean, there's nothing collectible about a 2023 Christmas tree. It's pretty coin. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people love the snowflake on the back with the company emblem in there, kind of as you turn it. But, but the truth of the matter is, can you imagine that 90 to one? How do they justify that? Think about the amount of work that goes into pulling this out of the ground. And once you realize that, then it really changes the light a little bit on the difference between gold and silver. Now, with the prices as high as they are, um, or the ratio, I should say, as high as they are, not the prices, the ratio, I wouldn't touch an ounce of gold right now. Here I am touching it, but I wouldn't buy an, an ounce of gold at this point or any gold at this point. I'm focusing my attention on silver. Why? Because to me, there's a lot of buying opportunities. And the fact that a lot of people stackers in the stacker community aren't buying them, it means that the premium can come down a little bit and they can give you a better deal. Um, today, I picked up uh, another order of silver rounds. Uh, I was willing to take our choice. I don't always like taking our choice 
uh, only because, you know, once in a while I do get a silver round that I just absolutely can't stand. Um, but it's silver. And, you know, I had this conversation uh, actually with Chris over at Universal um, Coin and Bullion. He's a good friend of mine. I put his information below. If you guys decide you want to order and you want to call him up, talk with him. This is not me trying to push you to use them. Use whoever you want. I just know that he takes really good care of the channel members. The people that I've talked to um, that have used him have been really happy with him, uh, especially if you use that referral code because it helps me out in terms of I am trying to get a discount code for the channel where if essentially you buy or you use a code and you get something. So that's why they're kind of tracking right now how many people come from the channel. Um, but with that being said, um, you know, some of this stuff, I'm not a fan of Christmas rounds. But like he said, he said, you know what, dude? It's an ounce of silver. Does it matter what's on it? And and I said, you know what? You're right. You're right. Actually, I didn't say you're right at first. I said, no, nah, I'm going to pass. And then I regretted it and called them back and said, you know what? Put me in for some more. Put me in for anything you can get your hands on right now. Um, cheap. I want cheap. I want cheap silver. I want to acquire weight. And for those of you guys that are fairly newer to stacking, that's kind of where you want to be. You want to be acquiring weight. Now, do I pick up some stuff? I mean, of course, I picked this up right here. I really don't even know much about it. However, I liked it. And I was like, you know what? It's worth 50 bucks to me. What the heck? Is it? A, it's a Canadian maple leaf, but it looks a little different. It's a 2011 Canadian maple leaf uh, certified. Um, but like I said, I'm not a diehard collector, but it was worth it to me. So I said, I'll take it. Uh, you can't beat nice box, nice case, even though I'm paying a little extra for plastic because this has about the same amount of silver in it. Uh, something to think about but maple leaves have been hot lately in fact out of all this there's only two maple leaves in here and they may only be one now because i think my son took one out when i told him just take one take whatever one you want um and he noticed right off that there was only two maple leaves now why are the maple leaves so popular right now obviously because american silver eagles um have a higher premium and that's the number one coin you know everybody recognizes an american silver eagle so a lot of people buy them. So the premiums on that's up. But the maple leaf hasn't had that big jump yet. So a lot of people are buying that. Um, people that are missing this opportunity to the negative on silver, I think they're going to regret this later. I've said this time again. Do I think that down the road things could change and maybe the price could come down again? I mean, anything can happen. I can only look at the short-term data, the data that we're seeing in front of us right now. Um, have I seen it go up, down? Yeah. I've also seen a lot of people say they were going to put off um, to under 20, and here we've been over a year now that they haven't been buying. So who knows? With that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video because my camera does cut off at 13 minutes and 34 seconds, so I can't let it go over that, otherwise it will get cut off and I'll feel crazy. So... Thank you all for watching, commenting. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If there's something you want me to do a video on, a question or something, put it in the comments. If I see it, there's a good chance I will. Thank you all for watching. Hit that thumbs up. I'll see you guys tomorrow on T-Square Talk. Take care, everybody. Have a great one. Bye-bye.